while we're out in the sweltering Texas heat, winter is coming, but we're still in August. This is a good time to check out, test our winter gear to make sure it all works right. While I'm still sweating in the Texas summer heat, I know winter's coming and I want to make sure that equipment is working right. I uh, have this particular unit that I'm actually going to be selling. I don't really need it, but I found this at a bargain. I wanted to pass the bargain on to other people. This is a Coleman 513B, 5000 BTU catalytic heater. Um, the production date, and I'll verify this, put it in the comments section, but I believe it was 1183. So it's fairly late production. You can see it has some very minor imperfections in the finish. There. There but nothing that's going to affect its usability. And uh, we're gonna test it out. Now, uh, if this thing works the way it's supposed to, I'll put it up for sale. If it doesn't, I'll put it up for sale for parts. The first thing we've gotta to do to test this out is give it a little bit of fuel. Now, I'm not gonna fill it up the whole way because uh, I'm just testing, I'm not gonna run it for very long anyway. So, probably put about a pint of fuel in it, test it out. We've got this tab and this tab right here need to get pulled in towards each other and then the lid flips up. Uh, I don't have four hands, so I'm gonna have to stop the camera and flip the head up, but it's just hinged. Uh, Directly on the back side, you can't see it, but just opposite of those tabs is a hinge. You just release those tabs and swing it up. I'll show you when it's done. All right, well, next thing we gotta do, unscrew the fuel cap. <clears throat> now this is different from your normal camp stove cap. It's got an O-ring seal. We're gonna test that as well. And we fill it up now just like we would any other Coleman liquid fuel appliance with a filter funnel. And we are back to the situation of I don't have enough hands. So, uh, well, we put the filter funnel in that way. And we're going to watch that so it doesn't bubble over. But like I said, I'm only going to put about a pint in here. All right, we've given it some gas, capped it back off. And we've put the snuffer back on. Now, we get to test it for leaks. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it up on end and make sure that I'm not getting any leakage out of the fuel cap. And I'm not. All right. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip it completely upside down. And the fuel is going to run up into a spot right here into the head. And then we're going to take that out from under this tree that I'm using for shade. And we're going to light it. I'll show you that in a minute. Not sure how well this shows up on video. But there's a big... You see that? It's good and wet. So let's... Uh, There we go, and we're lit. Now that's gonna take about 10 or 15 minutes to heat up, so let's just let it do its thing. There we go. Let's keep it from melting those tabs off. Now I know why this model, uh, you keep seeing them with scorched lids. It's the lighting process, but we're going pretty good here, so. I think I'm going to move this away from the grass a little bit. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with how these work, 
and why you've got to start such a, well, crazy little fire. What that does, that heats up the catalytic head, which in turn allows fuel to be drawn up through the wick and vaporized. Like I said, this takes about 15 minutes. Well, at least it did in my 511A. So uh, let's see how well this one works. And of course, my neighbor's guard service is here, but the flames are down. Six hundred and thirty eight point two degrees. So uh, that is definitely working. There is no flame. And uh, that is one functioning 513B. Now I'm going to let this go for an hour or so. All right, there it is. It worked flawlessly. Um, I put a little too much fuel in the head to start it up so my initial fire was a little big but that's okay um, this thing worked easier and better than the uh, bottle top Coleman catalytic heater I had in about I guess it was about 2007 um, I really didn't like the way that thing worked and this thing was just spot on it's just too high output for what I need here in southeast Texas um, I'm going to go ahead and list it up on eBay. So uh, I'm going to show some pictures here um, just after I'm talking here to show you what I uh, what it's got and how it's set up. Um, you know, what kind of finish irregularities there are. It's not perfect, but it's in really nice shape. So hope you enjoyed it. And uh, for those of you that aren't interested in buying it, and I, I understand that, but if you just... You know, hopefully you learn a little something about how these work, because they do work nice when they're set up. So, all right. Talk to you later. If you like my videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go back into the old catalog by clicking my channel and then clicking on the videos link. Lots of decent stuff back there you may be interested in. And like I always say to you folks, be busy, be productive, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Thank you.